Hello guys, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a free signature logo for your photographs. Now you've probably seen them on other photographers work, it's a nice signature and it's got photography underneath it, here's a good example of that now. Now there are some websites out there where you can pay for a signature logo but you really don't need to. I'm going to show you how you can create one for free. I'm going to show you how to do it in two ways as well. One way is a really easy way that anyone can do in any image program. We're going to be using Photoshop but you can use any image program as long as you can use layers. So I'm going to show you that way which is really easy and then I'm going to show you a much more professional way where you can do it really quickly in batches of pictures. So I'll show you a more professional way at the end. Okay the first thing that you're going to need is some fonts, some signature fonts. Now don't worry I have scoured the internet and I have found the 10 best signature fonts for free and I'm going to show you how to get them at the end of this video and it's really easy you just download them fonts and you install them into your computer I'm sure that you know how to do that already but if you don't just google it and it will tell you how to install a font on your computer it's really really easy so the first thing that you need to do is create what's called a PNG so I'm going to go into Photoshop now and do that for you Here's the picture that we're going to add that signature to but firstly like I said we're going to make a PNG, we're going to make your signature and what you want to do first of all is go file new and I'm just going to go to web over here, I'm going to select web large, over here I'm going to tick off artboards because I want it to be um, appropriate for most image manipulation programs not just Photoshop so I'm going to tick off artboard and down the bottom here I'm going to choose black as a background and then I'm going to click create and that's just opened up a blank black piece of paper for me if you like and now what we need to do is create our signature to go onto this piece of paper so firstly you're going to come over to your toolbox over here and select text tool up the top here you're going to click on this box here and select white as your color click OK now of course you can make signatures in any colour you want to, just select the different colour, whatever colour you want. So if you want a black one, you just choose black text on a white background, it's as simple as that. And then I'm going to come and click onto my screen and quite simply I'm going to type in Mark Newton, enter and I'm going to put photography down the bottom there like that. Now if I just click the move tool at the top of your toolbox and move this into the center, here's one of the signature fonts that I've got for you for free, so this is one of them. We're not going to use this one, I like a different one, I'm going to show you how to do that in a sec. So now you've typed your text that you want as your signature. I'm just going to select the text tool again and now I'm going to change the fonts of these words so I'm just going to select photography at the bottom there and for this one I'm just going to call, I'm just going to select Helvetica New like that and I'm going to resize it because I want it to be smaller than the actual signature so at the top here I'm going to type in 30 now I've already figured that size out now when you do it you're going to have to figure out your own sizes obviously but for now I've figured out that 30 millimeters is a good size for photography at the bottom here and now I'm going to select my name and change the font of that even though this one is a really cool font I'm going to change it to another one the one that I like best out of all of the 10 that I've got for you and it is called Signerica Signorica Thin and I really like that font so I'm just going to select that one for it and there you go and as you can see it's got bigger so I now need to change the size of it and I'm going to change it to 70 millimeters like that no it needs to be a little bit smaller than that actually so let's change it to 65 and that should be lovely I'm going to click the tick at the top to apply that and I'm going to use the move tool which is at the top of the toolbox over here select that and now I can move this to wherever I want now I want it to be roughly in the center of my piece of paper here and I'm going to just go to view at the top and I'm going to select snap and then that will help me snap it to the center just like that and I'm going to bring it down 
just like that. Easy as that. And now this is where the PNG bit comes in. So a PNG is an image that can be read by you know, most websites and computers and stuff like that, but it allows you to have a transparent background. So now that's what we're gonna create with this. We're gonna create a transparent background so we can save it as a PNG and then drag and drop it into any picture. And it's really, really easy. Like I said, I'm obviously doing it on Photoshop, as long as you're in a program that can use layers, you can create a PNG. So let's come over to my layers palette over here. There's a lock symbol here. I'm just gonna click on that lock symbol. I'm gonna drag it into the bin and that turns that into a layer. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this picture so that it's just the signature, okay? And that's really easy again. You come over to the crop tool, click on the crop tool and you're just gonna drag down the edges and drag up this edge here. Do you get it to roughly where you want it to be? And when you're happy with that, you click the tick at the top here to apply it. Simple as that. And now we create the transparent background. Again, it's really easy. You've got your layers palette down here. What we've currently got is two layers. We've got our layer zero there, which is the black, and we've got our text layer. All we do is hide the black layer like that. And what you can see is, you can hardly see the text, but it is there. And that effectively is now ready to be saved as a PNG. But before I save it as a PNG, I'm gonna show you how you can just quickly and easily change the color of that text, like I said to you before. All you do is select the text tool, highlight all of your words and up the top here in this box you can select whatever color you want so if you want a gray one you just select gray and then you can save different signatures in different colors so you've got light ones for dark pictures and dark ones for light pictures and so on and so forth but for now we're just going to make a white one so i'm going to drag it back up to white i'm going to click ok and i'm just going to click on the tick at the top there again just to let Photoshop know that everything is ready to go. Okay, so now we need to save it as a PNG. You go over to File, you go Save As. From the drop down menu here, where it says Save As Type, you select PNG, like that. You put it in a location where you want it to go. I'm gonna put it into my Creative Cloud Files, Logo and Text for Watermarks, MN logo for watermarks. And as you can see here, I've got a few different um, watermarks here and I've already created one there, signature logo MNP white. So you type in what you want it to be. I'm gonna call it signature logo MNP white two. And I'm gonna click save. When this box comes up, save it as the largest file size. Okay, click OK. So now you've just created a PNG, which is effectively an image with a transparent background. And now you can just drag that picture into any other picture that you want. So let's open up that PNG in its folder location. And here it is here. So as you can see, I've, like I said, I've got a few different signatures here, but here's the one that we just created here. And now I'm gonna just open up an image to drag it onto, simple as that really. So here's the image that I'm gonna drag it onto. Let's open up the folder again, down here. Select the PNG that you want to use, drag and drop it onto your picture, and here it is here. So I can put it wherever I want to now. I can move it over to the top corner here, down the bottom here. Now I like it in the center, I think, for this. So remember we've got the view and we need to put snap on again like this and then it will snap into the center and I'll just drag it down to the bottom, click the tick at the top and here it is. Let's just zoom in so you can see it. And there's a nice signature logo that you can use on any picture. It's as simple as that. So all you would do now is you would go file, save as, You'll save it as a JPEG, and it's generally a JPEG that you save it as when you're uploading to Facebook or your website or whatever. So you just go JPEG, 
and you rename it whatever you want. Example image watermarked in my case. I'm gonna click save. And here's another tip for you. If it is for a website, then put your JPEG quality here to eight because it will make for quicker loading time for websites. If it's for print or anything else, you will go up to 10 or higher. But if it's for a website, and it generally is when you've got um, a signature on it, you can select eight, click OK. And now you've got another version of your image, but this one has got a lovely signature watermark making you look really, really professional. Right, I'm gonna show you another way to do this now, which is a much more professional way because you can do it to a batch of images at once and you can resize them to lower res for internet use and stuff like that as well. But before I show you that way, I wanna to talk to you about the courses that we have over at theschooloffotography.com. Now, if you wanna learn Photoshop, Lightroom, photography, you wanna do landscape photography, portraits, whatever, come over and see us because that's what we do. We are professional teachers of photography and anything photography related. We have been doing this since 2002. We are fully qualified teachers and we teach you properly, so come over and check us out. Okay, the next version that I'm gonna show you is in Lightroom. So I'm just gonna open up Lightroom now. So here we are in Lightroom and I've created a nice little collection so that I can add this watermark to all of these pictures at once and export them all at once. Now Lightroom is an absolutely brilliant program for people that are really into photography because it just speeds up what you do, makes everything look a much more professional. So what I can do is I can attach that watermark, like I said, to all of these pictures, but also at the same time, I can resize the pictures to a lower resolution and make them suitable for the website. You know, like I said, uh, JPEG quality of eight. And I can do all of that all at once just by using what's called presets. So I'm gonna show you and take you through the preset that I've used for this logo signature. So if I just right click on this picture here and go to export, I'm just gonna click export at the top. So over here you can see I've got, I have got loads of different presets that I've got for loads of different uh, reasons, but I've created one here for this signature logo tutorial, all right? and if we go down to the most important bits, here it's gonna export the picture as a JPEG of a quality of 80, which is the same as eight, like I told you earlier on. Down here, it's gonna export it at 2000 pixels along its longest edge at a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. And effectively what I'm doing here is exporting a picture that is low resolution and suitable for screen. Let's come down a little bit further and then we come to watermarking. And as you can see, I have ticked watermark and MNP, Mark Newton Photography, signature logo, white. So it's gonna attach that logo as well as it's resizing all of the pictures and export them to wherever I want it to go. And that's how quick and easy it is when you start to learn Lightroom. I'm just gonna cancel out of this and show you, do them all at once, okay? So let's select that picture. Let's go Control and A or Command and A if you're on a Mac to select all of the pictures within this collection. I'm gonna right click on one of them. I'm gonna go Export and it's already got my preset here. So I'm gonna click on that. And now it's asking me where I want to export these pictures to. And I'm just gonna export them into this folder here and create a new folder and title it, whoops, title it Watermarked Pics Low Res. Okay, open up that folder select it and now what Lightroom is doing as you can see at the top here it's exporting all of them 10 files at once it's converting them into a low resolution for me and it's adding that lovely watermark and here they are here so let's click on thumbnail so we can see them all and let's have a look at a couple and there we go look at that that's got my lovely signature down the bottom let's go to the next one there it is there 
And there you go, that's how easy it is to do it in Lightroom. As you can see, it's a much more quicker and much more professional way to do things. But yes, you do need to learn how to use Lightroom first. You won't be able to learn through YouTube or Photoshop. You won't be able to learn it through YouTube, I'm afraid. You might learn a bit here and a bit there. And you probably know this already, actually. It is something that you're gonna have to sit down and learn properly, but when you do, this is how quick your workflow can be. So I've got them fonts for you. Like I said, I have scaled the internet and I've got the 10 best signature fonts. Well, I think they're the 10 best ones. And I've put them in a nice easy place for you to grab. The link is in the description of this video. Go and grab them. I hope you enjoy them. Now, if you've liked this video, please like it and share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button. If you don't do all of them things, we can't bring you these videos and we really, really appreciate it when you do. We appreciate every like, every subscription that we get. And it, like I said, it enables us to bring you these videos. So please support us if you can. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography. And they, all right, I'm gonna click the tick at the top. And it's called Signerica. <laughs> Sorry. And it's called Signerica. And uh, oh, for f sake, get a grip, will ya?